Hello world, welcome to this guitar review. Uh, another Seagull I'm doing, I bought this guitar uh, for a cheap um, uh, practice, travel, not have to worry about taking care of it, guitar, and to play something quiet. Because uh, I'm teaching a couple of people uh, guitar and ukulele and I need to be able to strum along quietly with them and be able to hear what they're doing over what I'm doing over my big loud guitars. Anyways, so what is it? It's the Seagull Excursion. Uh, this is the parlor size. Bought that so it's small, portable, light, and a little bit quieter. Um, this guitar is actually pretty cool because it's uh, an oxymoron. It's a cheap but really high quality guitar. Um, it's made out of, you know, cheaper materials, uh, but still good quality, but just less expensive than the more exotic materials. And the build quality, fit and finish is excellent. Um, so what is it? Well, it's, um, uh, by cheap, I mean inexpensive. The Parlor, Folk, and Dreadnought size that this series comes in are all, I think, the same price. They're all basically 300 bucks Canadian. Um, so whatever that exchange rate works out to, um, so it's, it's really cheap and affordable. A great entry-level guitar, um, especially if you're first learning to play guitar, this is very easy to play. A lot of cheap guitars are hard to play and discouraging to learn on not these things. Um, they have the same low action, awesome playability that all seagulls have. Um, so what's it made out of? Okay, first of all, we got the, um, it's all wild cherry laminate. Wild cherry is in the maple family, but uh, the wild cherry has a bit of a, a bit of a not as bright, bright tone. It's a little bit darker, a little more woodsy. Um, it's a very high quality laminate. It's um, a thick piece of solid wood laminated with two thinner pieces of solid wood all solid cherry and uh, the um, the uh, for a laminate it gets awesome uh, resonance and sustain I mean listen to that it's still going I mean that's amazing sustain for a laminate and um, so yeah, it's all wild cherry. Uh, the body is wild cherry, top, back, and sides, burned in rosette. Uh, you got a rosewood uh, bridge and a fretboard. You've got a tusk, a saddle, and nut, which is really good on an entry-level guitar. Compensated tusk, saddle, and nut. Um, so that's awesome. Comes with elixirs, uh, strings. Uh, the neck is made out of maple. I believe it's silver leaf maple. And they got, they got a nice little piece of mahogany here to cap it off. So uh, that's interesting. Um, the, net, the headstock is typical seagull. Um, it's got a, a piece of wild cherry laminated on top. Looks like a solid piece, actually, um, with the seagull uh, um, name and logo in there and everything. The tuners are the same high-quality tuners as on the rest of seagulls. Uh, 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 enclosed uh, chrome tuners really good quality same as um, the S6's or the Maritimes uh, I believe only the Artist series comes with a different type of tuner that's higher quality I guess um, I guess these are mother of pearl uh, dots in there and the neck like I said the fit and finish of this thing is, is beautiful um, you know everything looks quality there's nothing that looks like you know, like it's not, you know, fit perfectly. Uh, and then your little you know, strap pin there. Um, so is there anything else to say about this guitar? No, uh, that's basically it. Again, if I forget anything that you want to know about this guitar, leave a, uh, a message or a comment down below and I'll get back to it pretty quick. Uh, so let's hear how this thing sounds. Um, it's a parlor guitar, so it's going to sound like, but... Uh, <laughs> C, F, and D.
quite surprising how much volume comes out of this. I mean, it can be really, really quiet. I mean, really quiet when you just finger pick it or strum it with your thumb. But then when you, uh, I'm only using a medium uh, pick. Uh, this one's only, uh, it's a brain pick. It's 53 thou. Um, uh, or is that 53.53 millimeters? So um, pretty, it's like one, one or two up from the thinnest you can get. So it's pretty thin. Um, and the volume is, is pretty good. Like, um, Baby loves me, yes, yes, she does. Are the girls out of sight, yeah. So you can see how the guitars, like, I'm fighting to compete with the volume. Um, uh, let's try the uh playing there. It's a little hard to hold in certain positions because it's so small, but I didn't really buy to play with a pick, so um, see what it here's like, uh, what it sounds like finger picking is more what you'll probably, well, I don't know, maybe use this for. Sounds like with a capo on it. Um, I'll try a little bit of this other folk song I like. Golden f- 
flower with a soon die Will the fire burn out the land And the sea fill up with sand Will the last word ever spoken be Why? Will the last word ever spoken be Why? Sounds like with a capo, uh, a little bit of strumming with a capo. Again, Seagull Excursion Parlor Size Guitar, um, nice little thing, very blonde, um, love the burned rosette thing, that's kind of kind of neat, I like that look. Um, and for, for a cheap entry level learner or secondary quiet guitar, camping guitar, you know, cottage guitar, whatever, you don't have to worry about it, it's all laminate, um, and it's, it's a... It's a nice little guitar for the money. It's uh, you can't beat it, really. I don't think you can beat it for the money. Uh, and I'm just amazed how Golden Seagull got the the tone and the resonance out of this um, out of this laminate wood. My favorite. This is just okay. Now this is just personal opinion. If you're gonna go check out these guitars, my favorite for the excursions is the Parlor and the Folk Size. The Dreadnought I found a bit a, a bit too. Um, I don't know, a little bit boomy in the bass, or I don't know, something. I, there was something about it I was like, I, I don't think I'd grab that Dreadnought. But that's just me. I'm not saying it's it's a bad guitar, the Dreadnought. That was just my personal opinion on the sound of it. The Folk and the Parlor size, though, I love the sound of these two little things. They're they're actually quite, very, quite neat and nice sounding. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope that helped if you're in the market and you're looking around. Um, yeah, uh, DFTBA, two others. Have an awesome night or day, and God bless.